guys. We're the only sport that continuously shits on the current product and says everything was better 20 years ago. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. To our new viewers, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. On the Dan Libertad show, they were discussing about the shakeup on ESPN's top NBA broadcast team. Among them was Amin El Hassan who pointed out that the league was not happy with Jeff Van Gundy due to his willingness to be critical, especially of things like load management. Dan Lebertad also noted that Jeff Van Gundy has been criticized as someone who doesn't like basketball enough. Amin El Hassan went on to say that he's not going to stop watching because Jeff Van Gundy isn't calling the finals anymore and he can also see from the league's standpoint of not wanting negativity surrounding its marquee events with millions and millions of people watching. Amin also pointed out that basketball is the only sport that craps on its current stars and looks at the past. He says basketball constantly lives in the past and is haunted by ghosts. LeBron isn't necessarily facing the guys on the court with him He's facing off with Michael Jordan. So in that sense, Amin says you do need a breath of positivity. Also saying that our perception of the game can be colored by the people bringing it to us at the biggest moments. So before I say anything about this, let's just listen to their discussion. Then I'll give my reaction after. I think there is something very important that happens. And we know that from kind of the story that has been come out a little bit is the league hasn't been too thrilled with Van Gundy in particular because he can be very critical, particularly of officiating but also of the game of things like load management things like that and he is somebody who gets criticized for not liking basketball enough because of the way he's talking about it not just yes. from the commissioner of the league when you're and when you're you are the voice Stugat, you're right i'm not going to stop watching the nba finals because jeff van gundy's calling it or right. whatever right. but or he's not right. but or when you know, however many million people are watching, this is the most watched event in our sport, and you're getting bombarded with kind of a neg negativity. I could see from the league standpoint of like, yo, we're trying to do a thing here. We're trying to sell this. We're trying to like let people be excited about it and be optimistic about it. And I, I do always point this out, and the same goes for the Turner guys, the Turner Studio guys. We're the only sport that continuously shits on the current product and says everything was better 20 years ago. Nobody is saying... Uh, in football, no one's walking around saying, man, I'm telling you what, uh, you know, uh, uh, Boomer Esiason would would be the best quarterback in the league right now. No one says in baseball that, oh, you know, Doc Gooden would be the best pitcher in baseball right now. We all kind of accept that the modern version of this is the best version in the same way that no one looks at Usain Bolt and says, well, Carl Lewis would have just smoked him. But our sport, for whatever reason, lives constantly in the past. Our players constantly fight ghosts. They're not playing. LeBron's not playing Steph Curry. He's playing Michael Jordan, and part and parcel of that is and like, losing. <laughs> part and parcel of that Sorry. is you do need like a breath of positivity in it. That's from that standpoint. I I don't think you're right. People don't turn off or turn on the game, but our overall perception of the game can be colored by the people who are bringing it to us at the highest profile moments. After listening carefully, what I can say about it is, um, I totally get Amin El Hassan's point because the NBA as a business, the NBA as a product, they need positivity to be able to successfully sell the product. The point is the NBA needs people to believe that the current players are the best players ever so that the viewership is as high as possible. That's true, it makes a lot of sense. It also explains why the NBA may have influenced Jeff Van Gundy's firing. Where I don't agree is when he talks about the NBA being the only sport where current players are compared to the past players. That's a big lie. The biggest sport in the world is soccer, football. And also in soccer, current players are constantly compared to the past. Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo are constantly compared to Pele, Maradona. To me, there's nothing wrong with it. Critics are everywhere in life. Even in rap music, people compare Jay-Z to the likes of Tupac and B.I.G. What it does is it makes the current players and the coming players work harder in the sense that they aim to beat the records of past players. Otherwise, think about it this way. If everyone thought LeBron James is the best player of all times, he'd have retired like five years ago. I'd love to know what you think about this, so please drop a comment. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thank you.